Well, my sun porch is really starting to take shape and the next project I have to do is to put together my vermiculture bin. Why would you want to start breeding worms? Well, there are a couple of good reasons. Number one, what we're doing with this system is we're going to be using all of our kitchen waste and all of those kitchen scraps are now no longer in your landfill. So it's reducing your total household waste. That waste is then being turned into compost with these worms and that compost is really going to enrich any of your container plants or you can use them in the garden outside. You're going to need a couple of things to put together your own vermiculture bin that you probably have at home already. You probably aren't going to need to spend a dime. I've got a rubber bin here, just a storage bin, regular, doesn't have to be too large. I'm just uh, using an 18 gallon one right here. I also have shredded up newspaper. I've also got another cover to put underneath my bin. I also have this piece of cardboard here. And I also have a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. And I also have a water bottle here. Of course, I've got my worms that I'm going to add into this project. And also a little bit of soil and just some kitchen scraps. All right, let's get started. First thing I need to do is take this and put some holes in it. Oh, that was so easy. You're definitely going to be able to do this. All right, I'm done drilling all of the holes here. So I am going to take my cardboard and pop that along the bottom. And the next thing I have to do is I have to fill this with the newspaper for our worms. I also want to moisten it. Now you want to make sure that their bedding is fully moist. You don't want it to be dry, but you don't want it to be soaking either. Worms are very particular about their environment. So if it's too wet or too dry, they're definitely gonna tr wanna try and get out. And it's your job to make sure that they have the ideal conditions to give you that great compost and also to breed. All right, now it's time to add my worms. And I've got a bunch of worms here. Check out this big one right here. Look at that, he's huge. Now, if you're going to be purchasing worms, you want to definitely purchase red wigglers. Those are the ones that you want to use in this type of system. And here I've got a bunch of red wigglers right here in my hand. They're little babies, too. All right, so I'm going to grab a bunch of worms here and plop them in. All right, I'm gonna grab some of these guys here. Wow, look at them. It's a lot of worms. They feel cool and slimy. I'm also adding soil here to my vermiculture bin. Soil is really important. It contains a bunch of microbes that are gonna help in the composting process. We've also just taken the worms out of their home, which is the soil. So you do want to add some soil as well. And I'm just using about a quart pot's worth of soil. All right, so they've got a layer of soil. And now I'm going to add a bunch of green material, basically a bunch of the clippings that I clipped yesterday from my container garden here are going in to feed my worms. All right, my vermiculture bin is done. I'm just gonna cover it up now. And I'm gonna make sure that my bin is 
on top of another lid. And voila! My vermiculture bin is done and very soon I'm gonna have some fresh compost that I can use in my containers here on my sun porch. I hope you're gonna try this at home. You know, you're just gonna do so much for the environment by keeping those kitchen scraps out of those landfills and it's a great project to do with kids too. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. Thanks for watching.